Okay, well, here in the West, especially here in the US, you hear a lot of this rhetoric right. about religion, Islam, uh, ISIS being the responsibility of right. certain Islamic scholars or Islamic groups. Uh, you hear lots of people say it's the responsibility of the Shia-led government in Baghdad, the mistakes that they've made in the recent years. Uh, you hear people say it's the fault of Assad and obviously the repression in Syria. You hear people blame the Gulf countries for allegedly funding some of these groups. Um, very conveniently, I often find, we hear very little about America's own responsibility in this conflict, in this mm -hmm. problem. Isn't it the case, General, that there would be no ISIL today in Iraq if the US hadn't invaded and occupied Iraq in 2003? Yeah, I think that looking back, uh, there were a number of strategic errors that were made. You have to look back over you know, 50, 60, 70 years and you can even look back longer, but we definitely put fuel on a fire that was... That by had, uh, by had invading some, and the behavior that had happened. some embers there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. I mean, when we... You know, history will not be kind to the decisions that were made, uh, certainly in 2003. And here's the thing I don't really Go, know. Going into Iraq, yeah. de definitely not. And, and not just with Iraq, obviously there's Syria. You're yeah. on record as saying the handling of Syria by this administration has been a mistake. Many people would argue that the US actually saw the rise of ISIL coming and turned a blind eye or even encouraged it as a counterpoint to Assad and a secret analysis by the agency you ran, the Defense Intelligence Agency in August 2012 said, and I quote, there is the possibility of establishing a not declared so or undeclared <laughs> Salafist, it's not secret anymore, it was released under FOI. The quote is, there is the possibility of establishing a declared or undeclared Salafist principality in Eastern Syria. And this is exactly what the supporting powers to the opposition want in order to isolate the Syrian regime. The US saw the ISIL caliphate coming and did nothing. Yeah, I think that what we, where we missed the point, I mean, where we totally blew it, I think, was in the very beginning. I mean, we're talking four years now into this effort in Syria. Most people won't even remember, it's only been a couple of years, the Free Syrian Army, that, that movement. I mean, where are they today? Al-Nusra, where are they today? And what have, how much have they changed? When you don't get in and help somebody, they're going to find other means to achieve their goals. And I think right now what we have allowed is... The whole new world we've, helping yeah, them in we've allowed this, we've allowed while this these extremist, were... you know, these extremist militants to come in. But why did you and, allow them to do that, General? Well, you were in post. Are, you were are, the head of the yeah, Defense right, Intelligence right. Agency. Well, those are, I, I, those are I, I, policy issues. I took the liberty, took the liberty of printing issues. out that document. Yeah. This is yeah. the memo I quoted from. Did you see this document in 2012? Was this come across your table? One of oh, your yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid very close attention okay. to all this. So when you sure saw did. this, did you not pick up a phone and saying, what on earth are sure. we doing supporting I mean, that, these Syrian that, rebels? That kind of information are... is presented, and, and what did you those, do become, those become, I argued about it. Did you say we shouldn't be supporting these groups? I did. I mean, we argued about these, the different groups that were there, and we said, you know, who is it that is involved here? And I will tell you that uh, I, I do believe uh, that the, the intelligence was very clear and now it's a, it's a matter of whether or not policy is going to be as clear and as defining and as precise as it needs to be, and I don't believe it was. Just on, just on what you're saying, just to clarify here, you're saying today, today my understanding is you're saying we should have backed the rebels. You're saying in government you agreed with this We analyst. should have done more earlier on in this effort uh, you know, then, then we did. We, but we in 2012, really, we, but in we 2012, sort of which was that can. We which three, that we can, but three years ago, let's just be clear, just right. for the sake of our viewers. In 2012, your agency was saying, "quote The Salafists, the Muslim Brotherhood, and Al Qaeda in Iraq are the major forces driving the insurgency in Syria." Mm -hmm. In 2012, the yeah. U.S. was helping coordinate arms transfers to those same groups. Why did you not stop that? If you're worried about the rise of "quote unquote" yeah, Islamic I, I, I mean, I hate to say it's not my job, but that. My job was to, was to ensure that the, that the accuracy of our intelligence that was being presented was, was as good as it could be. And I will tell you, it, it goes before 2012. I mean, when we, were, when we were in Iraq and we still had decisions to be made before there was a decision to pull out of Iraq in 2011. I mean, it was very clear what we, we, what we were going to face. Well, I admire your frankness very on this subject. Very clear what we were going to let face. Me, let me just, to one before we move on, just to clarify once more, you are basically saying that even in government at the time, you knew those groups were around, you saw this analysis, sure. and you were arguing against it, but who wasn't listening? I think the, I think the administration. So the administration turned a blind eye to your analysis? I don't know the, if they turned a blind eye. I think it was a decision. I think it was a willful decision. A willful decision to go support an insurgency that had Salafists, Al-Qaeda, well, and Muslim Brotherhood. a willful decision to do what they're doing, which, which you have to really, you have to really 